This video is going to cover a math puzzle all about protecting sheep from some hungry wolves. First, let's go over what materials you'll need. In this video, I'll be using blocks, where purple will be my wolves, and orange blocks will represent my sheep, but anything around the house will do. For instance, you could use quarters and pennies, just as well. Next up, we're going to need game boards. Now, you can find these as well as full worksheets on mathcircles.org. But if you have a chessboard or a checkerboard, those are great. And if you need to, you could just draw squares and they'll work fine for this activity. Now, let's talk about some rules for the puzzle. We're going to be placing our wolf and sheep on the same game board. But wolves are hungry. If they ever have a straight path to a sheep, they're going to eat it. So if we have our wolf and sheep on the same row, well, that sheep's getting eaten by the wolf. Similarly, if we place them on the same column, well, that wolf's eating that sheep. And lastly, if they're ever on the same diagonal, like this, the wolf's eating the sheep, or like this, yep, that sheep's getting eaten. We need to find places to put our sheep so they're safe from our wolf, meaning that there's no straight path to get to it. So I could put it maybe somewhere like here. It's got no straight path, so that sheep's safe. Or I could put it maybe here, and it's still safe and sound from the wolf. Now that we've covered the rules, let's talk about some problems. First, let's find a way to place two wolves and three sheep all on the same game board, so all of our sheep are safe and sound. Remember, a sheep cannot be on the same row, column, or diagonal as a wolf. Once you tackle that, well, let's take away a sheep and add a wolf. Our second question is to see if you could find a way to place three wolves and two sheep on the same game board, so both of the sheep are safe and sound, not getting eaten by some wolves. If you're able to get through that, Let's try something a little different. Let's place a wolf on the game board and see what is the largest number of sheep we can add to it. Now, I can add them anywhere where they're not in danger of being eaten. And similarly, we can move our wolf wherever we want. Our goal is to maximize the number of sheep, meaning we want to find what's the most number we can use without any of our sheep getting eaten. Once you're able to do that, well, let's get bigger. We want to ask the same question on a 5x5 five five board, meaning we're placing one wolf anywhere we want, so we're trying to keep as many sheep as possible safe. Remember, you can move your wolf around. Our goal is to maximize the number of sheep, meaning again, we're finding the largest number of sheep that could be safely placed on a 5x5 five five board with a hungry wolf. If you're able to figure that out, well, we want to go larger. We want to see if we could find the number of sheep that you could safely place on a 6x6 board, but what about a 7x7 or an 8x8? As a hard question, can we figure out what's the possible number of sheep for any square board? You want to figure out a pattern or some sort of mathematical expression that'll work for something really large, even a 100x100 board, without having to place all the blocks on the board yourself. And as a last question, well, let's see if we could find a way to place three wolves and five sheep all on the same five by five board. This is a hard question, but if you're able to figure it out, well, let's see how many possible solutions there are to this. If you find one way to place your wolves and sheep, can you find another? What's the total number of possibilities you think there are to solve this problem? Now, to find this activity, all of the materials, and a lot more, check out mathcircles.org. We have a ton of fun problems, and we're always adding more.